I've got them in my sights on this episode of Battle Guides, featuring Octavia. Now, Octavia is one of those characters that I absolutely love because she has everything I look for when I'm looking for a character. She has simple effects and a unique ability that preys on knowing your opponent's intentions. In fact, she reminds me a lot of Seth from War of Indians. Now, if you're interested in who Seth is or some stuff like that, I'll link something below or you can click the annotation here to find out more about Seth. Octavia 6 is a sniper who uses her long range, powerful effects, and awesome unique ability to crush almost anyone who goes up against her. However, it's not that easy because using her abilities means being faster than the opponent. And usually, due to her low priority, this is only possible if she uses her unique ability properly. As such, a good Octavia always means knowing how to properly use your target lock and guessing your opponent's priorities. Octavia's unique ability is target lock. During the anti-phase, Octavia may select one number. Now, if the opponent reveals an attack pair whose priority is equal to that number after all reveal effects resolve, the opponent gets minus 10 priority. Now, this effect is also checked after clashes. Now, if the opponent at any point during the anti-phase decides to anti, Octavia may counter anti by changing her number. This unique ability is one of the most powerful unique abilities you'll ever see. Not just because of the minus 10 priority it gives, but because of its attrition. You see, by being able to guess a number, Octavia can technically persuade people into not using specific attacks. As such, opponents with really powerful attacks, such as Karen and Jaeger doing Feral Claw or something like that, is very easy for Octavia to deal with as she just has to guess that attack's priority and Octavia will go first, usually stunning these faster characters out of their faster attacks. This scares most opponents into not playing their best attacks. As such, Octavia has a much easier time dealing with them as they're now playing suboptimally. Now, if your opponent decides to play optimally, this unique ability still works in Octavia's favor as Octavia is able to make use of her very, very powerful effects. I keep mentioning how Octavia's attacks and effects are absolutely devastating. Now, in order for you guys to understand that more completely, I think it's better that we go over them before moving on. Let's start off with Anti-Personnel. Anti-Personnel has, admittedly, awkward range, but has amazing power and not that bad of a priority value. Anti-Personnel has the complete opposite of Stun Guard, giving you an effect that basically states that you will get stunned as long as your opponent hits you, no matter how much damage they deal. Take note that it is a very risky play. As such, if you're planning to play the stack, make sure you know your opponent's intentions. As an added bonus, whether you guess or not, the end of beat effect lets Octavia teleport, hopefully nabbing her that long-range positioning that she absolutely loves. I highly recommend pairing this with Grasps for more speed or bursts in hopes of dodging your opponent. Cover is one of Octavia's more amazing styles because of its great effective range, excellent power, but most importantly because of its Soak 1 and Stun Guard 3. As many of you know, 3 is Devastation's magic number. Not a lot of characters can reliably break 3 damage. As such, no matter what you pair with this card, you will almost always never get stunned. It has an added bonus in its after activating effect which states that opponents can't hit you. So this means that as long as you're faster, your opponent can't hit you. Now this is great on two fronts as if you make a mistake and don't properly guess your opponent's priority, the soak and stun guard will cover you and still let you deal damage to your opponent. As for attack pairs, I highly suggest pairing this attack with strikes for more damage and to take advantage of that range or dashes so that you can have a priority 6 attack that basically guarantees 
no matter where you go, you will not take a hit. Cybernetic is actually a really, really fast style, considering that it's on Otavia, as it has plus zero priority but plus zero in all the other stats as well. It has a great on damage effect that allows Otavia to move the opponent up to three spaces, letting her make a larger gap so that she can make use of her ranged attacks such as cover and anti personnel. Now, it also has a really amazing after activating effect which gives her soap too. This makes it so that pairing it with faster attacks actually gives Otavia a defensive option if she can't stun her opponent out of their attack. Now, in terms of attack pairs, this attack goes absolutely well with drives for good priority and great effective range. Or if you're willing to take the risk, Grass will also serve as a really effective way of making a larger gap. Demolition is honestly one of my favorite Otavia styles. It has plus one priority on Otavia. And that is absolutely monstrous considering that her unique ability technically gives everybody else minus 10 priority. Now what makes this attack truly amazing is that on hit it stuns opponents that have one priority or less this basically guarantees that otelia gets to stun the opponent if she target locks them correctly now if the opponent already has negative priority to begin with as such as the case for slow characters like cadenza well otelia gets to stun them regardless of her guess or not which is absolutely amazing also after activating, it allows Otavia to advance up to 4 spaces, allowing her to once again create a gap because all of her other styles have minimum ranges to them. Now when it comes to great attack pairs, this style is amazing with drive, especially if your opponent has his back against the corner. Also, you might want to consider using Grasp with this attack. Snapback is arguably one of Otavia's best styles having some of the greatest effective range turning almost all of her bases into a pseudo shot. Not only that, but it has decent priority for Octavia as again, plus zero is actually a lot on a character that gives everybody else minus 10. Now, this card is completely scary for a majority of the cast because of its passive ability that states that opponents that have slower or lower priorities than you can't move this beat. Now, this works really well if you target lock your opponent properly and guess his priority. That just basically means that your opponent doesn't get to move, allowing Octavia to counter anything from dashes to melee attacks that only have range 1 printed on their cards. However, even if she doesn't get the target lock ability correct, she can still make use of this by pairing it with faster bases, and if the opponent's naturally slow anyway, it doesn't really matter. Now, after activating, it allows Otavia to retreat one or two spaces, again, allowing her to create more gaps. When it comes to pairing this card with anything, I almost always pair it with Grasps. Another great option for this is to pair it with Strike, as it allows you to counter bursts easily. And finally, we have Otavia's unique base, Shooter. It's range 1 to 2, power 4, priority 2, and it ignores Stun Guard. Now, a slow attack with ignore Stun Guard might seem useless on a majority of the cast, but not on Otavia because of her unique ability. Now, this base is just all stats everywhere, and it's completely scary because it gives Otavia a technical second shot. Now this attack is great when you're dealing against uh, Juggernauts and other slower characters who rely on a lot of Stun Guard. Now if it comes to pairing this attack with Styles, I highly suggest Cybernetic so that you can create even bigger gaps. Or pairing it with Snapbacks to ensure that your opponent doesn't go inside your minimum range. Just make sure that you guess your opponent's priority right. Octavia's two overdrive finishers are Double Barrel and Extreme Prejudice. Double Barrel is an upgrading overdrive finisher that has an A range, an A power, and 4 priority. It has a passive effect that states that opponents affected by the target lock ability cannot hit Octavia this turn. And after activating, Octavia may now call out two numbers within a range instead of just one. So that means instead of calling one, she can call one to two. 
Now this overdrive finisher is not that bad. Its four priority is pretty great and mixed in with the ability that makes your opponents miss if you guess their target lock, right? Gives you a technical free pseudo dash if you're savvy enough to guess. However, if you're already good at guessing your opponent, you might not be needing this overdrive as much. Extreme Prejudice, on the other hand, is a high priority, high power overdrive finisher that has full board range, technically, as long as you guess your opponent's priority correctly. You see, it deals 10 damage, has 9 priority, but it only hits opponents that are affected by your target lock ability. As such, it's only really useful if you, well, know how to guess your opponent's priority. As I've said, Otavia is a character that's all about knowing what her opponent's intentions are. Looking at all of Otavia's possible uses of an overdrive finisher, it's a really tough choice because Otavia is one of those characters that is a ranged brawler in a sense. She's a brawler in the sense that she wants to counter her opponent's options, but at the same time, she's a ranger because all of her attacks are at range. As such, um, it's really up to the situation. So whether you want to use Extreme Prejudice or Double Barrel is really up to you and really depends on your ability to guess your opponent. On the other hand, Pulse is amazing! Because you're a ranged character and you really need a lot of positioning, um, Pulse's ability to put you at range 6 or range 5 immediately with almost no cost besides your special action is pretty great because all of your combos and all of your attack pairs work really, really well at range 3 and above. And now we move on to everybody's favorite, favorite, favorite part. Advanced strategies and combos. Now, Otavia's advanced strategies are not as advanced as many might think because guessing the opponent is hard for some people. Now, personally, Otavia is easier to use than Seth because when you're using Seth, you have to guess one of your opponent's bases. Now, that's always a 1 out of 5 chance when using Seth. However, for Otavia, it's a completely different story because Otavia just wants to go first. She doesn't necessarily need to get the guess right. As such, whenever you place an attack pair with Otavia, only guess numbers that are equal to or higher than your current priority. For example, doing Snapback Grasp gives me 5 priority. That means that I should only be guessing numbers that are at priority 5 or above. By doing this, you are heavily reducing the amount of numbers you have to guess from. As such, your lower limit should always be the priority of your attack, and the upper limit should always be the highest possible priority your opponent's attack has. And yes, I also mean equal to your priority because your opponent can still clash you, but if you guess that priority, they get minus 10 and you don't end up clashing. Other than that little tidbit, the key to using Otavia is simply to know your opponent's intentions. Knowing your opponent is pretty much the key when using this character. Even though she's only Flight 3, that's just because of mechanical difficulty. Actual difficulty in using her comes from knowing your opponent. And now Otavia has a lot of cards that are useful even if you don't know what your opponent's planning to do and even if you guess their priority wrong. However, an Otavia that knows her opponent's intentions and guesses their priority often do dominates the game dominates the game entirely. I've had matches wherein by the third beat, my opponent was at 7 HP and I was at 20. That's just crazy. Now, in light of playing Otavia, here are some attacks that I think are absolutely amazing on her. First and foremost, I have to get it out of the way, it's Snapback Grasp. Snapback Grasp is just absolutely an amazing attack with range 2 to 4, power 2, priority 5, the passive ability that makes it so that slower opponents can't move, an on-hit effect that allows you to move the opponent one space, and an after-activating effect that allows Octavia to retreat one or two spaces. Now what does this basically mean? It basically means it's one of the best opening moves in the game. You see, Grasp basically outspeed everything but Grasps. That basically means your opponent can't drive nor burst out of range 4 making your effective range almost always make this attack hit. Now, not only that, but the on-hit effect allows you to push the opponent one space to put him in the corner. Then your after-activating effect allows you to retreat one space into your corner. 
And that basically means you and your opponent are at range 6 by the second beat. And next you have Cover Shot. Cover Shot is range 2 to 6, power 4, and priority negative 1, while having Stun Guard 5 and Soak 1. Also having the after activating opponents can't hit you. Now, I use Cover Shot mainly because it's one of Otavia's attacks that hits hard and allows Otavia to hit full board range. The great thing about this attack is that even if you don't guess your opponent's priority correctly, you still have effective Stun Guard 6 and not a lot of ranged characters can beat that out. However, it has the best benefit ever of also allowing you to dodge attacks if you do guess your opponent's priority correctly. As such, Cover Shot serves to be a very, very effective method of destroying many ranged opponents. And finally, arguably one of my favorite attack pairs on Octavia is Demolition Drive. Now, Demolition Drive is range 1, power 3, priority 5, and has drives before activating effect that allows you to advance 1 or 2 spaces while having Demolition's on hit stun effect, and it's after activating advance up to 4 spaces. Now, this is actually one of Octavia's fastest attacks. And not only that, but it also has an effective range of 1 to 3. Now this attack is amazing if you've accidentally put your opponent near a corner. If he's near a corner, you can use Drive to advance towards the corner, and then use the after activating on Demolition to advance as far as possible, creating another gap for you to play with your opponent with. And that pretty much does it for this episode of Battle Guides, featuring Octavius 6. Now if you're planning to bring our Cybernetic Sniper, to the battlefield, here are a few last minute tips. Number 1. Create gaps. Always use your styles' and abilities to create gaps. You are a ranger and a ranged character. And as such, most of your greatest tools involve being at range with your opponent. Be that because it makes you safer from a majority of faster attacks or because you can prevent them from getting close to you, possibly barring them from even hitting you in the first place. That being said, this also means that you should not be afraid to use dashes to create gaps with your opponent. Mixed in with things like demolition and you can create absolutely monstrously big gaps on the board if you so wish. Number 2. Guessing Priorities Guessing priorities is always a big thing when you're using Octavia, but it's not the end all. Remember, Octavia is pretty much a ranged brawler and she can do a lot of her stuff if she's at range. As such, getting range is more important than guessing the priority. However, if you really, really want to guess your opponent's priority, I highly suggest that you limit the number of numbers you're guessing from by limiting it to the lower bound being your attack pair's current priority and your opponent's highest possible priority. And finally, manage your cards. You see, I keep telling you guys to create gaps with Octavia because she is a ranged character. However, know that two out of her three attacks are melee range styles, which basically means that she's not getting any effective range out of them. And if you're at range five or six, not even Shooter can save you if you don't have the right styles in your hand. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Battle Guys, and thank you everybody for being so patient every single two weeks. Now, I hope you guys liked this video, and if it got you interested in anything World of Indians related or Level 99 games related, anything related to that stuff will be down there. Now, if you want to talk to me or any of the other BattleCon veterans, it's also going to be down there. Um, I've decided to change the way that I speak during these videos because honestly my throat hurts every time I make one of these videos. And I really think that it's easier for me to talk like this. Not only that, but I actually get more intellectual in the way I talk. Um, it makes it so that I can talk clearer and convey my ideas better instead of like doing this voice all the time. You know what I mean? Um, so yeah, uh, if any of you have a problem with that, just tell me in the comments section down below and pretty much that's all I have to say. Thank you so much for watching and remember, don't forget your special action. Thank you World of Indians, thank you so much and good night.